Next surgery we're looking at is uh, the Colledu Colledecu jejunal anastomosis, or you could say what? Colecisto jejunostomy. All right? Colecisto jejunostomy, or Colledecu jejunal anastomosis. And if you look at this word, they are, they are talking about what? Two structures. All right? So it's usually an, an, an anastomosis between what? The gallbladder and the small intestine. And the part of the small intestine they always use is the jejunum. All right? So maybe there is a surgery and the need, there's a need to what? Create a fresh communication between what? The gallbladder and the small intestine, right? So here you see this is a gallbladder. I could see that this is a small intestine, all right? So we are trying to like link these two structures together, all right, to enable bile flow, all right? So let's look at it. We look at the indications, look at the procedure, look at the types, risk factors, and look at the possible what recovery time, okay? So I think that's how we'll be doing it, all right? So for the definition now, all right, some people call it colledecu jejunal anastomosis. Some, probably call it, some people call it what? Cholecysto jejunostomy anyone so we said that the cholecystal jejunostomy is a surgical procedure that what involves creating a new communication between the gallbladder and the small intestine and the part of the small intestine they always use is the word jejunum i are doing this to facilitate bowel flow all right so detail overview is like this indications that's why you are doing this type of surgery okay now if gallbladder uh, sorry, if gallstones are lodged in the common bile duct, you know there's a common bile duct. So if there's a blockage here, I know that what is bile has to pass through the common bile duct before it comes to the small intestine. Then you just simply link where bile is formed to the small intestine and rest. Okay, so if there is gallstones lodged in the common bile duct, and probably you feel like if you do a surgery, then it results to some complications. Then you might just want to link the gallbladder directly to the small intestine, all right? If there are some tumors or strictures in the bowel ducts, then you want to bypass this normal flu, all right? Then the next indication is there's a pancreatic cancer or other pancreatic diseases. You want to bypass. Then if there was a failed endoscopic retrograde cholangio pancreatography, then you still want to do this, all right? Then, what are the procedures? Just a rough procedure, right? First of all, you uh, you, you give an uh, this thing, anesthesia, right? General anesthesia. Then you incise. That's you make the incision to the abdomen to access the gallbladder and the jejunum. Then gallbladder mobilization. So you now free the gallbladder from the surrounding structures because sometimes the gallbladder might be attached. So you want to free it so that you make it much more mobile. That's mobilization. You want to increase its movement, flexibility, and all that. Then jejunal loop creation. You now create a loop in the jejunum for anastomosis. Then the anastomosis in full. You now connect the gallbladder to the jejunal loop. Okay, then closure. After you're done with everything, you now close the incision. Then the patient will start recovery. All right. So, cholecysto jejunostomy or coledeco jejunal anastomosis anyone you are linking the gallbladder to the small intestine all right for gall then uh, just a recap on the indications why you are doing this if there is an obstruction here or if there are some strictures along this part you just want to bypass it all right so types now we have the real and y cholecystal jejunostomy then we have the what coledecu jejunostomy see the same thing right so this one is the most common type uh using a y-shaped jejunal loop then we have the colidaco jejunostomy this one is what connecting the common bile duct to the jejunum all right so the risks and complications this is surgery so definitely if you don't treat the wound properly that's after surgery it could result to some infections right it could result to bleeding result to bowel leakage lead to what anastomotic stricture where you actually join the gallbladder to the small intestine, if it's not done properly, that place might, might constrict. All right, this could also lead to what malabsorption, the recovery time. Hospital stay is usually about five to seven days. Pain management, you manage, you give medications and in monitoring the patient, dietary restrictions, 
After a while, the patient can what? Gradually return to their normal diet. Their follow-up appointment. This one is just to monitor for recovery and to be removing the strictures for the patient, all right? So I think that's what the cholideco jejunal anastomosis, also known as what? Cholecysto jejunostomy, also known as what? Cholideco jejunostomy, all right? So same surgery, different names.